The stars and galaxies we see in the night sky represent only one-sixth of the total matter in the universe. The remainder is a mysterious component, dark matter, that neither emits nor reflects light. So, for astronomers, the challenge of mapping the universe has been similar to mapping a continent from just the lights of the cities. For the first time ever, astronomers have been creating a three-dimensional map of how this dark matter is distributed across the universe. To this end, an international team of scientists, amongst them groups from Marseille, the Max Planck Institutes, and Paris, have been using data from the NASA ESA Hubble Space Telescope. The results are published in Nature Online on the 8th of January 2007 and at the meeting of the American Astronomical Society in Seattle. Although the invisibility of dark matter makes it hard to detect and has eluded scientists for decades, the team of astronomers led by Richard Massey of the California Institute of Technology made this map after years of painstaking analysis of the Hubble Cosmos Survey, the largest survey of the universe ever conducted from the Hubble Space Telescope. The map offers a first glimpse of the web-like large-scale distribution of dark matter in the universe. The map reveals a loose network with a sponge-like structure of long filaments intersecting in massive condensations where clusters of galaxies are located. The survey encompasses an area of the sky nine times that of the full moon and was carried out by an international team of 70 astronomers led by Nick Scoville of Caltech. The exceptional image depth and resolution of Cosmos has made it possible to cover the large areas spanned by the dark matter structures and to obtain details of its distribution. Currently, astronomers can best probe dark matter by using gravitational lensing techniques, which is the bending of starlight caused by the presence of dark matter in the universe. The map was created by using this technique and analyzing the distorted images of half a million distant galaxies. Such subtle distortions were then used to reconstruct the mass distribution along Hubble's line of sight. Stretching halfway back in time to the beginning of the universe, the map reveals a network of dark matter filaments, collapsing under the relentless pull of gravity and growing clumpier over time. The map shows how normal matter, including stars and galaxies, assemble and clump on top of the densest concentrations of dark matter. The three-dimensional map is a historical achievement in its own right, since it enables astronomers to better understand how galaxies formed and grew, and has, at the same time, accurately confirmed current theories of how such structures came into being. This result from the Hubble Cosmos Survey has given us unprecedented information about the distribution of dark matter. Future improvements may lead to insights into what dark matter actually is, for instance the exotic particles that some scientists suggested many years ago.